Exercise is a celebration of what your body can do, not a punishment for what you ate. Most people exercise for a good physique or to reach their ideal body weight. But this is not the right approach. Exercise is actually a part of our lives. Just like everything else we do, exercise is supposed to be a part of our daily routine. Human beings are capable of moving around and even used to hunt for their food. But with time and the growth of technology, we no longer have to put our bodies through what it was put through ages ago. And this is exactly what makes exercise and movement seem like they are not part of our daily lives. While the technological advancements have a positive effect, the lack of physical activity is a major threat to the quality of life. With the ever-growing hours of sitting, there is a need for a great deal of exercise and physical activity. We need to change this mentality. We need to stop considering exercise as a punishment and instead think of it as a way to thank our body for all that it does. Anyone you meet today will tell you that they are busy and that they have no time to exercise. But what they don't understand is that its benefits transfer to everything else that they do. Exercise has been shown to improve mood and decrease feelings of depression, anxiety and stress. It increases the production of endorphins, serotonin, oxytocin and dopamine, which not only lightens your mood and makes you feel good, but also increases the level of productivity and motivation. Exercise is also associated with an increase in energy levels and is known to decrease the risk of chronic diseases. Further, it is capable of increasing brain function and protecting memory and thinking skills. The benefits are many, but so are excuses. These benefits are actually what we would have been experiencing if we continued to consider exercise as a part of our lives. With increasing urbanization, growth in technology, change in diet and shift in working conditions, people started becoming unhealthy. And this was when they started believing that exercise was a solution to their problems. Normally, we would feel that this is positive, but it becomes too late when we realize that this way we consider exercise as a punishment for our lifestyle and not as something that should have continued to be part of our lives. Finally, I want all of you to remember that the hardest thing about exercise is to start doing it. Once you are exercising regularly, the hardest thing is to stop. Thank you.